I'd like to schedule that after. Okay, cool. cool. Um, well, what matchup do you have in mind? Uh, me versus Panko. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay, I'll pull it up right now. Uh, do you have any thoughts on? Yeah, it was like, uh, so we have like a really bad record where I haven't beat him. Um, and I don't know. It's kind. Of, it's kind of frustrating. Um, like okay, like Puff is like definitely like on like the higher end of like my matchups just right now. Like I, I tend to do pretty good against the field of Puffs, but um, and like my sets with him were like really close for a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, or there was like a streak like a few months ago where we're having like a lot of close sets, and then he kind of just started like resting me a bunch, and then like, kind of downloaded me. Um. And I, they've been like a lot less close recently, and I kind of I'm like I want to beat him. We play it like every tournament, and I can't beat him. I'm like really over it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that makes sense. I think, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think Falcon Puff feels hard in a lot of ways because I think Falcon has a lot of spots where. Like, I feel like I'm going to end up saying this for every single lesson we do, but <laughs> there's a lot of spots where he just dies immediately. Um, Dude, you don't have to remind me, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, at the end of the day, I bet most of what we're going to be talking about is like just avoiding those initially. And then once you like always avoid the death spots, then it's like, okay, there's so much more that gets to happen now because we don't have to worry about, you know, you losing two stocks instantly because something random happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's uh let's get into it then. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like already <clears throat> there have been like a lot of mistakes. Some big, some small. But going down here is totally fine. But then I feel like one thing that falcon's really good at against puff is if puff is ever like at any point where she's like diagonally above falcon so i'll pause it exactly when it happens um like at if at any point puff is like diagonal to you you could always like potentially pressure her so you mm -hmm. like doing dash forward maybe up air could be something that like she has to worry about you know um and like I think by you dashing back and going to side platform and kind of like not checking when you were wave landing ended up putting you in this weird position where like, I don't think Puff hitting you here is necessarily that bad, but you're like too engaged in a scramble to feel safe. And then the next mistake, I guess, um, after kind of the wave land where you weren't paying the most attention, I think something maybe better would have been like wave land double jump and then like maybe land on side plat, maybe land on top plat. Um, or like something, or maybe like wave land, but stay on the plat. Uh, but then once you land and get hit by the nair, it's like, you will never, ever, if you get hit by the nair at any point ever, jump and have it like do something against Puff. I think if you're getting hit by the nair, you always have to stay grounded. So it's like dash, jab, shield, roll. I think all those things are super good compared to like jumping. Cause it's like Puff just is going to drift in and drift out. And guess what your jump is going to do? You know, get out of space. Yeah. And then something horrible is going to happen, you know? And then this ends up to, oh, maybe you get rested. Oh, good DI down the up tilt, but now you're still in the corner. You know, it's like, it, it all just yeah. spiraled immediately from, frankly, a pretty small mistake of you just, like, wave landing off the plat, you know? And it sucks yeah. a lot, but that's kind of, kind of going to be the name of the game. Um... I don't think the narrow is necessarily bad. I kind of feel like I think the narrow is kind of greedy because the way I, I kind of see the situation is if I see that Puff had jumped there already, her my nair isn't really going to come out fast enough to just catch her out of the air. And so then what ends up happening a lot of the time is like if you get bared and maybe trade here or something, you die. But Puff gets hit by this nair. And she gets, like, Nair up aired, and then, you know, you go back to playing neutral, right? And so it's like, that yep. trade-off doesn't seem that worth. If you get hit by Bear, you die, and she gets hit by maybe two or three moves. 
And then if the Nair misses, guess what happens? CC maybe could have grabbed you and forward thrown you, leading to a kill, or the sub smash, which could just lead to a rest off of a read, or an up air, which is going to be up air bear, and you're dead, right? It's like, oh my, you just die in every situation. And I feel like, oh, nice, see, up air rest. And you just somehow died. And I had no idea that was going to happen, but it's just, once you get in a spot like that, there's just no, like, living, I guess. Yeah, um, there's a lot of lose-lose. Yeah, and, like, all of this is just to say that you guys <laughs> gotta do less that could potentially lead to, like, one of Puff's big openings. That either being, you know, something that knocks down, which in this case is the side B, or something that would send you off stage, which in this case would be a, the bear. Um... And, like, both of these, honestly, could have just been replaced with Shield. And that's not... Maybe not the best thing, but, like, as a baseline, I don't think shielding against Puff is ever, like, something super horrible. You could always, like, zero jump for out. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. Like yeah. I think it, it doesn't end up being too bad. Oh, on the nipple there. Yeah, nice. 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 Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, and you died, dude. Yeah, see, it's just like anything goes wrong for a Falcon, your life is the thing that you pay with, you know. And it's even more literal with Puff because she will rest you, whereas like you know, Fox, so you get up smash and you're like, oh no, I might die, but Puff, you actually do. But you have a pretty good rest punish here. Oh, you I think I get guys. dash attack wants to set. It's yeah, like fair warning now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, really good. Nice, nice. I like not committing fully. Um, I think you should turn your back more. Something like that, Wizzy is like super duper known for is just every time Puff has the like, you're just like kind of trying to zone Puff out. You do it with your back turn mainly. Because I think Nair and Bear are both, like, equally big moves. Nair's probably a bit bigger. But the thing with Bear is Bear's fast enough to, like, actually hit Puff before um, she could potentially hit you and have something go wrong. And so, say, for example, if instead of, like, Nairing right here, you were, like, bearing and Puff just ended up bearing you, you trade and it wouldn't be a big deal. But if you're Nairing, Nair probably, like, loses to Bear straight up because it takes too long to come out and then something horrible happens and no one wants to see that. Um, I also think with Bear, what I like about it is since it's faster, you could wait longer to do it. And so yeah. with the Nair, you have to do it when you jump. You just do it as soon as possible. That's the only way for it to work well. But with Bear, you could do it super late and it still like will hit just as how like how Bear normally does. Um, nice, nice, good. Oh. I think this is really good recognition on the down throw not good like you can hit him before he lands on the platform i think that's super good thanks nice look at this super cool puffs jumping around you get the pressure <clears throat> i think uh one thing is your bearing which is really good but then you have to realize once puff gets to like this diagonal angle then you could turn around and start up bearing and that's yeah. kind of like the game you're playing is you up air when she's at the diagonal angle, and then once you realize she's like horizontal or something, or maybe below, then you could start bearing and stuff. So then if you're like, instead of bearing here, you turned around and were like up airing, you could up air, drift towards center. If she gets hit, awesome. If she doesn't get hit, you're safe, you know? But when you do the bear, look at what happens. You're close enough to get shield drop aerial, and something horrible is going to happen. I don't know what, but I'm sure something horrible is going to happen. Okay, cool. <laughs> He didn't go for a read, which is fortunate. He's a he's a bit of a drill grab monster, so I'm just always uh, buffer rolling there. Nice, yeah. Yeah. I think um, pressure and puff in the corner more directly here is really good. Just because if you can, like, make puff land, or she, because she's going to have to vent eventually. If you can, like, see when she does land, then it's like, ooh. I get to pressure her and i think the way that you end up being set up for that is like having your back turned or like just dash dancing um and i think here you kind of decide to like jump 
And it's like something that happens in this matchup is if Puff is on the ground and you're jumping and she's not like literally point blank, she can always just wave dash out the way. Always. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you just don't have a mix up anymore. And so she it's like he saw that you jumped and was just able to wave dash away and guess what? Nothing you do, even the latest up air, even a stomp or whatever, just had no chance of hitting. And so it's like you like just lost the mix-up opportunity just because you like decide to jump instead of like maybe dash dancing. And so then when you're dash dancing and he does that wave dash away, you can actually like maybe run up grab or you know, maybe you know, then you maybe you could run up and then short hop next to him. And at this point he's so far into the corner that he can't escape or something, you know. Yeah. Nice, I like this. Mm. I think this nerf is fine, but I think you get a shielded. Oh, you, yeah, you tried to dash back. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice, really good. Me? Cool. And surprisingly enough, even though everything that could have gone wrong went wrong the first two stocks, this game's even as fuck. Dude, I love Falcon. Yeah, I mean, you've been. Neutral has been going pretty well for you, honestly. Outside of, like, the death spots. It's been going pretty well. I don't think Punk Punko like knows how to like progress the game state. It feels like it feels like unless you do something, Panko's down to just sit there and do nothing. And I think Puff loses if that happens. Nice. I like the way you're playing this now. I feel like it took you a while to like warm up. <laughs> you're like, oh my god. You jinxed me, dude. Yeah. Back yeah. through time. Definitely cannot hit in the off down throws this we're saying. You just have to take your up air, then pressure. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that nair. I think here's another spot where like instead of like nairing here, if you're like down to dash back double jump, you could hit this exact like jump. But have a big fast bear to do it instead of a nair. Yeah. And so then instead of having this weird thing where she goes up and doesn't end up getting hit by the second hit in there, she's just getting bared, and that's a bear, up air, maybe neon bad DI, you know? And that could just be the stock. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Nice, good shield. I cannot believe he's fallen for that every single time. <laughs> Actually can't beat it. Nice. I like the way you're up airing. Oh. Well, that jab was super greedy. Yeah, this is all fine. Can't really do much about this. Damn. There's a, like an established rapport with that taunt, by the way. So uh, <laughs> to, to clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. Oh, oh, that was definitely a read. Live in, could die here. This is a hard position. That was the read of a century. <laughs> Dude, I was right, too. Like, <laughs> uh, bro. Yeah, the thing is, that game, you lost it, but I don't think Panko had any idea what to do in neutral against you. Genuinely. I think you were in control of neutral the entire time. And the only time you died was because you made, like, a poor choice in, like, a random-ish kind of scramble. Um, and, I mean, that's to say that you know, I think being close to Puff uh, is really awkward when you're, like, on the ground in shield. I would, I almost always try my best to get out of those spots. So that's, like, the first one where you kind of got, like, um, what was it? You wave landed off the platform and ended next to Puff right here. Um, there's this stuff with, like, when you're in the corner, playing super duper duper passively. Like, there's, you're not worried about getting hit. You are getting a hit. You are just... Trying your absolute best to not give Puff any openings at all. Whether it's shield, go back to ledge and refresh a ton, or like full hop. Full hop, double jump to top plat, super good against Puff. She struggles to deal with it a lot because once you like start going up, Puff can't catch you. Puff can only catch you right here. But once you're past that point, you get to full hop, double jump, and then, you know, get to top plat and it'll be pretty cool. Um, and then towards the end of the game, you start doing the good thing with like doing a bunch of bears and Puff is horizontal and being diligent about switching to up air. Uh, I think you were a bit trigger happy 
on the empty empty hop stuff. Just, but it's also because it hit him every single time. So I don't blame me for that. But I think uh, sometimes you're going to have to check him and just do a late knee on his shield. And I think Puff is super bad at dealing with late knee on shield. You knee and so, jump again, uh, she can't do anything, you know? If you know the player RJ, he tells me about that all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good, yeah. Oh, uh, I think also, just as, like, a general thought, not necessarily, like, the most relevant in this match, but I think you could spend more time, more, or more time on the platform. I think if you want to make Puff do something, at some point, if you really want to, instead of just, like, pressuring her right here forever, you could just, like dash back and like play around this part of the stage and she'll move forward a little bit and then you could be like okay i now get to like play the game again but when puff's like in this area if you pressure her too hard you'll like she'll never come down you know it's just too mm -hmm. hard for her to come down so she'll just do the infinite loop of jump around jump around forever hit the ground for a quarter second jump back around be off stage and i think i like sometimes after like a long time of pressuring i feel like i've gone enough moving away from the le uh, from the edge to like play around this spot and then going for like an actual hit uh and it ends up being i don't think it's like necessarily the most uh, like optimal strategy but if you really want something to happen in the game i don't think it's a poor idea word oh you definitely missed a big punish on this pound this is like yeah. puff through a life away. If you're, I think if you're reacting a bit better, um, you could have probably grabbed it. And worst case, I kind of feel like instead of like doing like this empty hop to like pressure, I feel like since she was in the pound, you were pretty like risk free to just see that she pounded and know that you're not going to get the punish, but still just like do a stomp, you know, yeah. do a flying stomp, land on the back of her shield and like pressure. And I think that's totally valid there. Um, just because what's she gonna do? She's not gonna like shine you. She's just gonna have to eat the stomp because she's not fast enough to dash out of the way. She can't jump out of the way. And if she rolls, so be it, you know? So you get free pressure, even if you're like late on punching this pound, which I think is pretty important. Oh no, you died immediately. Never mind. Oh. I feel like this also did not need to happen. I kind of think... I think the CC is good, but I think you need a better plan. Um, so it's like... You know that she's faring. If you have a really good plan, instead of like waiting a long time if you know she's gonna fare you could just react to the fare like out of your cc and then just like rising up air it and it like mm -hmm. if you go fast enough it hits uh and it's like a good way to just be like you're not paying attention get hit um i also think you could also dash out of the cc which you know might give you an opportunity to like play mix up on her landing say after this fair you do dash back and then Maybe if she decides to land, you know, you get to do, like, short hop, late bear, and pressure. Or maybe if she jumps again, you're dash chancing. And so then you get to, like, rising up air if she doesn't, like, pay attention to the spacing, you know? She gets too close. Um, so that's, like, a pretty... It's, like, a small thing, but, you know, I think you have to take every opening you get. And you getting a CC on him doing a lazy fair is, like, that's your opening, you know? Yeah. And that bear ends up nearly i mean i guess it indirectly ends up killing you and it's like pretty bad I like the stomp i wish you were ready to do stomp turn on grab yeah uh, the spacing there was like i thought i was gonna um get past him yeah uh my bad yeah i also think the fact that he didn't like get popped up was probably pretty confusing because he cc'd last second yeah because i'm pretty sure puff gets knocked down from zero by stomp but he crouched at the last second. That makes sense that you were confused. I just worst jump of all time. Ask to leave Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're gonna need you to leave the venue, sir. <laughs> oh. 
when you just die. That sucks. Yeah, it's just like every scramble that has happened possible has gone the worst possible like direction, which is definitely something to think about, you know? What about the scrambles, I guess, would make you want to like do the thing you do and what is actually going wrong in them and then um, like fixing Because I think all the scrambles that we've had so far have been pretty different in nature. I think like there's like some fundamental overlap, but a lot of them have been like different situations. It's like whether it's like landing too close to Puff on the ground in an awkward way and feeling they need to defend yourself or whether it being you missing a CC punish or it being Puff has advantages and is already in the air when you're shielding on the ground or something. It's like all the scrambles are different, but I think realizing that that's the part that's going wrong um, will probably make it a lot easier when like you're watching or playing on your own and being like, how do I not let Puff you know run me over like this? So should I just not be scrambling? Is that the answer? I think a lot of the time you should just be escaping, yeah. yeah. I think sometimes you can scramble, but you have to, like, be specific about it. It's like if... I think an example is... If you, like... Hmm... If you, like, Nair a puff, and she gets hit by... And she's, like, on the ground crouching, right? And she gets hit by the second hit in there, and she's CCing, I think, like... That's a scramble that you could play because it was like initiated by you and you're fast enough to not get hit by anything in like an unreactable way. And so you could like do the nair and dash back and then check if she does something poor and then punish it. But like the difference between that one and the other ones is that like you initiated that one, right? And so I think there are some scrambles you could play where if you initiate them and you have enough of an advantage to like be evasive while also still being engaged, then I think those scrambles are worth playing. But the ones where you're like just in the thick of it and you have to fight... Falcon's always going to lose those. He just doesn't have, like, a good enough move to win. Especially against Puff, sense. who crouches in their jab, which would probably be, like, your one option to actually do something. She's so evil, man. I know. She's very evil. Aww. I fuck with her, though. Respect. Damn. Cannot believe he got hit. How did he even get hit? What, what happened? Miss your wave plan. Caesar grab was... Maybe not the best attempt. I feel like I I'd, I'd like miss that waveland and CC and be like, fuck. I need to worry about like making sure I do not like something bad doesn't happen because you don't know exactly what's happening when you're getting hit by this bear and you can't you can't really tell if he's drifting in all the way if he's not drifting all the way and how like how soon you'll be able to act out of it and if it'll actually true punish. And so I'd probably get hit by this bear and be like, well, fuck. I'm just going to roll away and, like, play the neutral after that. Because what happens is you do this grab, and he's, like, paying attention. Instead of wave dashing away, he just, like, short hop, drifts away, then drifts in, upper whiff punishes that um, that grab, and then you it's are forced into playing another mix-up, right? And maybe you die. Or maybe he crouches after doing the bear, you grab, and get rested. This is a lot that can go wrong if you don't know exactly what's like gonna happen. And it's pretty fair to not know exactly what's gonna happen, because you can't really tell, it's a mix-up. I think you played a bit too far forward here. I think once I end up in this position, instead of playing around this, like having like the edge of the platform be the focal point, I'd like play all the way into the corner. Um, just because it's important to have like a decent amount of space and you don't want to like be close enough to puff for her to ever like actually get you with something so then you getting hit by that fair puts you in a really awkward position where you got out which is totally good but you don't want to have to be like oh fuck what what happens now you know you just want to like be safe but that's the snap thing so we take those nice 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 wow I'm gonna be the new baby Gronk. The <laughs> <Tell you. laughs> new risk king. <laughs> uh, and then you die. Baby Gronk. Baby no, Dune is no longer <laughs> confirmed for, <laughs> for Louisiana State. <laughs> yeah, it just... It goes so well. It is insane how everything always just goes exactly your way until you are literally dying. dying. Like, there's no alternative. It's either things are going great for you or you just die immediately. And it's like, man, that I feel like you would be demolishing Panko right now if there wasn't just like 
you dying every single time something went wrong, you know? Um, yeah, I agree. Fuck Panko. Yeah, I think... This is another... Actually, this is the exact same thing as the, the other game where you got rested in the exact same way, where you just bared the shield, and nothing ever good comes from bearing the shield on the platform. It's mm. like, if you're ever, ever going to interact with Puff, like, shielding in this position, you're doing the most spaced up air possible in drifting back, or the most spaced nair possible. And that's it. That's, like, the only alternative. You know? Maybe you could double jump up and, like, bear the platform from above, but the only things you're doing from below are super spaced bear, or nair and super spaced up air. That's it. Because this bear, you never have enough drift to actually get far enough away to where this shield drop drill doesn't just, like, demolish you. Yeah. I will say, a lot of the stomps have been going well or have been going unpunished, but I think stomp is, like, a pretty big risk. It's funny that this guy in the chat saying, Bag needs to stomp more, but I I think that against Puff, Stomp is so slow that she almost never actually needs to get hit by it. And so I would only really do it when it's like Puff did something and is in lag and needs to shield to avoid it. She can't hit you beforehand. She just ended up in so much lag. It's like maybe she bared and then you read her bear and you are like stomping over her. And she just, the only thing she could do is shield. I think those spots, it's, like, fine to stomp as much as you want. But in spots like this where Puff, like, technically has the time to up smash, to roll, to up tilt, I think stomp just is not that great. Because it's really easy to get hit and you die immediately. But she gets stomped and half the time she lives, you know? It's always just, like, thinking about, like, the risk reward of the situation. And when you put it into perspective, it almost always looks like, damn, if I hit her... Maybe I get a bit of percent. If she hits me, maybe I die. You know? Yeah. And it's always just, like, realizing what spots are the... You're playing for your death or, like, a small opening. And if you could get good at judging every single one of the situations and deciding which ones you're playing, like, around your death and you're not getting equal value, which would you know, be killing her, you probably just shouldn't play them. They even get a rest punish. You hate to see it. It's not fair, dude. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I think the Nair here was kind of a mistake. I don't, I think it, like, did something, but I feel like if I were the Nair here, I'd much rather, like... I feel like if I wanted to cover what the Nair was covering... I'd rather just bear here. Just because it's like... Safer Nair, better. Yeah, it's just Nair is just so long. It's just so slow. And so what happened is you do the Nair and you're like, well, I have to dash back. There's just nothing else to do. And I think if you're bearing, there's a world where you bear and decide, I'm just going to jump again in place and then like do a bear. And it just works. But like there's nothing, there's no situation after the Nair where you jump again and something goes well, you know? It just takes too long. And so then you're forced to dash back, and it's like, damn, guess what happened when you tried to, like, corner pressure? You just got put in the corner somehow. And maybe that's a mistake to say that after the Nair, instead of jumping, you should have been dash sensing right here to, like, react. But, you know, there's something to say about the Nair, too, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this is a kind of random thought, but it's come up a lot, but like suspecting pound a bit more often might also help a lot because you've missed almost every pound punish, but I don't think you needed to miss this one. Like you did a long dash back. If you just did like the same length dash back you did, but instead of dashing forward, just checked, just waited for a tiny second to see if maybe he would pound, you get to knee the fuck out of this pound or maybe you up air, up air knee, right? But you get some mm -hmm. sort of punish, but instead... You're at this weird spacing where it's like, Nair doesn't really feel good because he's just going to SDI up. He's too close and low to like up air him comfortably. You can't grab him because he's too high. And so now it's just like, you see, it's just super duper awkward. And then, you know, you try and like do a knee and guess what happens? It's just too slow and you get up aired and maybe something horrible happens. Oh no, don't roll in. God damn it. <laughs> 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 you hate to see it. I uh, know.
He never does that one to me. I was so offended. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, it's like a lot of the things that are going wrong are completely avoidable, which is I think I think should at least feel good that it's like, damn, it's not like you're losing neutral. You're just like misjudging the, you know, poor risk reward spots and or like mis executing or misreacting, which is a lot easier to fix than like fundamentally changing I guess how you're playing the ma uh, the matchup. Oh there no! Oh no! I told you to get ready, dog. I know. I I I'm prepared. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you're gonna die! Oh god! Something horrible might happen. Okay, it worked out, but another spot where. Death was on the table. Knee, really gritty. Bear doesn't. You could arrest it right there. I know. Jump <laughs> forward after getting jabbed. Super greedy. Something horrible could happen. Um, it's like I hate to say it, but I literally think if you were just sitting there doing like brain dead bears instead of like trying to hit puff super directly, so many things would just go better for you. So yeah. many things. Yeah, yep, that this is one of the issues of like doing a bunch of jump pressure is Puff will just wave dash away and you can't like actually do something about it a lot of the time. Yeah, you keep doing one jab and try and play mix up, but I think if you're gonna like do this jab, you should always double jab. One jab just like doesn't send her high enough. And so she lands as you're doing a thing and you could just get hit. If you double jab, she gets sent high enough to where she has to fall, and I think you uh, have a better mix-up off that. Back air, back air, just back air. Oh no. The double jab was really slow. I think you could have popped her higher. I know you wanted to check if the jab actually hit or not, so it's like chill, but... I feel like, okay, actually, I think something that is important is that you assume that, like, there's a lot of spots where it feels like you're assuming that you get a mix-up on Puff, but in reality, you don't actually get anything, and you just have to reset. It's like here for, it's like every jab is a great example. It's like you jab, and it's like, ooh, time to play a mix-up on Puff or whatever. It's like, no, dude, Puff, like, jab just sends Puff super close to the ground, and then she's on the ground in front of you, and it's really awkward to hit her. And so you don't actually get to play a mix-up. You just have to, like, defend. Or, like, maybe bait something out. Or it's, like, here, you're like, ooh, double jab? Puff's obviously going to be, like, falling or doing something that I could hit. So then you forward tilt, guess what happens? Boom, right over her head. Death is just waiting, you know? There's a yeah. lot of times where it's like, ooh, now I get to play a mix-up against Puff, but nope. You playing the mix-up against Puff should have happened, like, way longer ago when you guys are further apart. When you and Puff are next to each other, you don't have mix-ups. You just simply get to run away and reset. It's too hard. Nice, good roll. But then you jabbed, and horrible things are going to happen now. Bear. Nice. Thanks. I think you need to full hop more, by the way. I, I've realized you haven't full hopped, like, in a pressure situation a single time. And uh, that's something that Wizzy does a ton. Wizzy just shields, full hops, and figures it out later. And I think that's really, really good. Yeah. Puff F smashes the back of your shield like this. You don't get a mix-up. <laughs> it's something, something horrible will happen. I think the best you could do, maybe... Is if you react really fast, you could do short hop late bear and hit her before her shield. Or not before her shield. You can hit her, hit her shield and before any like attack comes out. But like other than that, it's just like you wave dash or you wave land the side plat and then do something out of that. You almost never get like a direct thing on the back of your shield. It sucks a lot. Yeah. Here's the empty land also going poorly again. 
He's just hitting you. Dash that, nice. Oh, you had him. You had him too, wow. Uh, I've been trying to, like... I feel like like that, and also a lot of the like bad way events been doing, are just kind of like a symptom of, like, I've been really trying to uh, become a platform mover. It's just mm -hmm. not really something that's been my repertoire. So, like, a lot of it, like, there's a lot of, like, bad platform movement, or, like, platform misinput. And it's just, I just kind of kind of hold it. It's a growing pain. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I think trying to do more Waveland stuff is super good. Um, I'm getting on Wavelands. I'm trying to do, like, a lot of, like, Waveland teeter, too. Like, that's stuff. So yeah, OP. I think it's really, really good. Nice, oh, bear, yeah, bear. Long, but... Good stomp. Grab. Up air, up air, up air again. Air dodge. Start bearing. You gave up too much space, and now you're paying for it. Mm. I think you want to make puff. Puff has to, like, incrementally work from, like, this zone to this zone to this zone to center. Like, Puff has to fight to get to each one of those spots on the stage. And guess what? You just gave her all the way up to right here. And guess what's going to happen? She gets to right here for free. You know? It's like, how'd she get from one... She got from the very firmest edge all the way to, like, the second most inner point off one decision, you know? And that's, like, something really important to avoid. And I think changing the way you think about Puff being in the corner from, like, oh, Puff's in the corner, I'm just going to pressure, to, like, making her have to fight through here to here to this edge of the platform the center stage and then you know she'll have more room to play with or whatever making it where she has to actually do something to gain advantage enough to get to the next point over and over and over is how you make it hard for puff and sometimes she'll break through you know two of the distances at, at one time maybe she'll just get from here to here sometimes but that's like a minority you know in terms of all the yeah. situations that could happen and then she's in center stage and you're in the corner. It's like, what the hell? What happened? The game was going so well. And it's all just because you missed one air dodge. But you didn't even have to wave land. You could have just been standing right here safely, you know? Um, dash back. Nice. Dash dance. Yes, you dash dance. Also, the moment you started dash dancing, neutral got really easy. <laughs> I feel like you haven't been <laughs> dash dancing very much, but it's like you lost... All idea of how to play against Falcon the moment you start dash dancing. Dash dance. Oh, shields a knee. Whatever. Dash dance. Guess what? Just whiffing random moves and gets hit, you know? Nice. Oh, look at this. You're demolishing him. He just really doesn't know how to touch you. Yeah. You're actually the risk king. Nice. You're playing scrambles way better, too. This game looks so much better than the other ones already. Nice. Oh, you gave her all the space. But you kind of see how Puff, like, is incrementally moving forward when she gets to the corner. So she gets yeah. to this point, and then she's like, okay, well, you gave her enough space to get to here, which is totally fine. But then guess what? She has to go back to there because sometimes she can't, she can't stay here forever, you know? She either gets there and then goes forward or goes back. She can't stay there. So then you pressure her, and she has to go back, and she goes forward and back. But then guess what? You gave her accidentally all this space, and so now she gets to move to here for free, you know? But then, you know, you take it back, and then she goes back. You see how it's like she, she's just moving between each, like, goal post, essentially. Yeah. And if you can pressure well, you could keep her in one goal post for a lot longer uh, than you currently are. Oh, that knee was the greediest thing of all time. I think the this knee against Puff is absolutely horrific. It just doesn't work, because it's either... If you're trying to hit her out the air, she's probably bearing you. If you're trying to hit her on the ground, she's probably wave dashing away. You know, none of the like situation outcomes really lead to her getting need unless she messes up. Rest. Oh, that sucks. Everything was going so well, too. But that's because you're playing the. Oh my god, you're throwing your life away. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. What? You just gotta. You need to play the corner more with your back turned. Playing just naturally, playing the corner with your back turn more often will fix so many of your situations. Just an insane amount. It was a horrible string of interactions. Yeah, but we take those. We love to see it. Nice, good rolls, good dash. Oh my god, it's okay. Oh, you missed space against Pound and died. <laughs> Man, this is going well too.
I think this was a good roll, maybe. Those are good rolls. Really good dashback stomp. And then you just miss your combo. And then you try and bear. And it's like, mm, you gotta wait. Could they just dash against a bit longer? There's like nothing that like, I don't think, why I think the bear wasn't the best is that there's nothing that you like necessarily needed to bear in that moment. Like for example, if say, instead of like, you know, pounding here, you see her jump instead of like, her pounding, what if she just did full hop rising fair or full hop falling there? You dashing back, like, is totally chill. Because what's going to happen is you're just going to get to pressure her in the air anyways once you actually get to dash back in, you know? And so it's like, nothing said that you needed to bear to make sure that you didn't get hit because you had dash as, like, an, an option available. And so then, when she does the one thing that beats the bear, life is looking horrible and they end up dying for it, right? And I think that's, like gonna be the another one of the big things is realizing when when you actually need to like defend yourself because there's sometimes where you just dash back and puff never does anything ever or there's sometimes where you have to do an aerial or you will just get hit but those area or those situations tend to be like less common i think yeah cool i think Something that you could potentially do here that might be good is just stomping so you get like a tech chase, potentially. Because you can get a nipple here every time. So secret mm. meta might be stomping and then tech chasing. Because if you get like a tech chase grab, she dies instantly. That's a uh, food for thought. Because getting the knee there feels pretty bad. Hitting puff right before a kill percent always feels super fucking bad. Like dude, if she was just 20% higher. Oh no, that bear is super greedy. But like if you wanted to like start bearing instead of dashing back and like going to the platform, you would have been you would have actually just like ended up in this spot, landed, and then double jumped in place. I feel like you yeah. didn't have to spend the time like dash dancing and then wave landing. And it changed the situation so much from the time that you saw like what you saw right here that you doing this wave land bear was no longer accurate. Because you saw around here when you like decided to, you know, dash back. But you have to, like, change your decision, like, based on what she's doing. So I think maybe what, instead of, like, double jumping towards her, if you, like, double jumped in place and then realized, oh, she's super far away, and then just went to the ground and started playing again, nothing horrible could happen. But you just kind of missed the reaction and got super greedy. Oh, you're... Something horrible is going to happen. Oh, never mind. Paco sucks. Never mind. You're... <laughs> you threw... But could could die, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't know, forward smash kill percents at all. It kills. It did. Oh no. This is wow, that's the worst thing ever. This is the mistake here is you went in front of Puff Shield. If you're ever gonna be hitting Puff Shield, you almost always wanna hit the bag. Because what happens is if you hit just as like a general idea, if you ever are in front of Puff Shield, something that could go wrong is you getting grabbed. And you just never want that to be the case. You didn't get grabbed there, but the fact, like, it's always on the table. And even at 0%, getting, like, grabbed is undesirable, you know? Yeah. So, and you, you just, it's super free to land behind her. It doesn't, you don't lose anything. It's like, you might as well. You're also up air, which I think bear probably would have been a better decision. <laughs> like, you kind of misjudged there. I found out at uh, Bangy Two Saint uh, showed me how Puff can actually up the rest Falcon at zero. Really? It's just like a real thing, yeah. It's on the DI, but like it's real. And then I was like, no fucking shot. And then they did it to Salt. That's insane. Like, oh, wait, like it's real. It's so real. <laughs> it's only at zero on like no DI though. Uh huh. Damn, that's cool. crazy. Yeah. Another greedy wave land bear. You just gotta be down to pressure. It's totally fine that you went to the platform and wave landed, but then you have to double jump here and be like, ooh. Puff is way too far away for anything to ever happen. And Puff could react to the fact that you're wave landing and just move out of the front range, you know? It's just, she's too far. And so you have to see that when you're wave landing, be like, oh, I'm just going to like double jump and then drift somewhere around here and then dash in, you know? Because you should never be getting hit by that kind of bear. Nice. I think the way you're playing now is good. You got to turn your back, though. Turn your back when Puff is on the second half of the stage. It's just hurting me to watch now. Yeah. That hurt even more, though. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, well, he's dead. Let's go. 
Nice. Oh. I think the stomp attempt was potentially good, but I definitely expected you to do bear here. Just because it's like, you bear, and you don't know if it hits or not, but if it doesn't hit, you're chilling on shield, and if it does hit, you get to, like, jump again and pressure. So I'm down. But then the stomp gets shield grab. It just is super bad on shield. And so it's like you're it's like you're you're fifty fifty-ing in a spot you didn't need to in terms of like whether you die or not. And you could have just like done something and it gone well the whole time. Turn your back like this. Oh. I'm kinda I think the Waveland stuff, you're kind of conflating situations with the Waveland, because I feel like here, this is a spot where you knew she was narrowing from really early. You did a great jump, but you just have to have to hit her you know yeah. directly like this is a free just like bear and it probably hits her or you know shield pressure is worst case but when you do the wave land it's like well fuck you know you just added a bunch of time to the situation and so then she was able to just kind of do a fair that ended up hitting you and i think you die off this i assume oh never mind stomp of the legends <laughs> baby grok stomp best oh no you live these yes sir oh my god oh name again Oh my god, it's, you're fucked. <laughs> it was almost a robbery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I feel like so much went wrong in terms of, like, you dying instantly. But every game was close, and neutral went exceedingly well. You know? I yeah. think I want to watch um, Wizzy versus Puff really quickly. I'm rocking with it. I think I have to look up Wiz Rome. That dark wizzy guy really just stealing the goat's thunder, man. Yeah. Really fucked up. But, uh, I don't necessarily want to watch Hungrybox. I want to see if he has one against a worse buff. Two Saint could work. It's probably going to be Two Saint. Yeah, sure. It's not play though, but fuck it. Uh, where is it? I think it's this one. I don't know. Regardless, I just want to see Wizzy camp the ever living shit out of the puff. And that's like a decent baseline. Nair's fine. Guess what? Immediately starts bearing. Uh, this knee, I think, is different from the other knees that you were doing, because this one specifically would have, like, it was time to interact with Puff landing in a way where the only thing she could do was land shield. Yeah. And so I think that's, like, specifically, like, a reasonable knee. Um, upper is kind of greedy. But the up this upper isn't actually that greedy. It's more that Wizzy Red that I think Two Saint would wave dash back. And I think this never would hit that wave dash back. So I don't necessarily have too many complaints about it. He's so good, dude. No. Yeah, I think once he, once the puff is out, this is a dash back. <laughs> There's no reason to be jumping here still. And yeah. he pays the price. Oh my god. That was so tragic. Punish. Oh, that was the worst DI of all time. Oh. I like how so it's, it's like he bears when it's just like nothing happening. And then once he has like a specific like, ooh, this person is going to be in shield. Then he's like down to like try and knee. I think that stop was pretty greedy. That stop like red wave dash forward, which is definitely something that can happen, but... Eh, not playing around pound is kind of sus. I, look at this, the up air. He does the upper space, and he's safe enough to at least get the shield before Puff can hit yeah. him. Yeah. Nice. Messed up. Oh, he's messed. really just throwing out, like, aerials next to Puff, but, like, not in the way I was, like, in the way you were describing. It's so yeah. good. He's just spacing, and that's, like, it. And then every time something random happens, he's doing some type of defensive option. Oh, Oh, nice. This is going over like puff falling is super good. I think this is secret technique. If you like see the puff full hop and you really want to like read her falling to the ground kind of greedily, jumping over and doing something super good. Yeah, and that was definitely in the after the nair. Nice. Get fucked. He's so different, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's very good. Nice. I like that he didn't jump there. There's no reason for him to jump, right? Puff could have jumped fair, but he didn't need to jump. He could have just dashed and avoided it. And so then he gets to, like, play a mix-up, potentially. This is super good, too. He realizes that the Nair kind of hit awkward. And then shields after, and then does a really good full hop. Does a late bear. Oh, Puff can't do anything about bear. 
GG. That was the greedy supper of all time. Okay, that was the most fortunate up smash of all time. Um, I think this knee was one of the knees where it's like Puff couldn't really do anything except shield. It's like she could shield or like do a, like a roll or spot dodge action. And so it's like, I'm totally fine with like her rolling or spot dodging the knee here because you just get to like jump again. But like, if she doesn't do those things, she has to shield. And so I think that kind of knee is like, okay. If you could tell that she doesn't have the time to do anything except like a shield option, knee's probably going to end up being pretty good. If she misjudges, she just gets need. Nice. 45 degree angle. So he gets the up. Oh my God, that was the greediest runoff ever, but it worked out. But I like that why he's able to up air here is because he's at like the diagonal angle upward, you know? Yeah. He's literally just like sitting there waiting for Puff to exist there, and it just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he turns his back. This is great. This is super. Puff's at the 45 degree. And then once he realizes Puff's not, turns his back immediately, you know? Yeah. Nice. Puff's horizontal. Starts bearing. Yep, and this is that's the thing I was talking about where it's like instead of just like holding the space, sometimes you just gotta go to the platform, and it'll change the situation enough. Oh my god, he threw to like do something different, you know? And that's yeah. like sometimes it's just what you need. Why is it lagging? What the hell? All right, GG. I guess. Okay, we're back in. <laughs> that was odd. Net play. I like the roll. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Hmm. Didn't space in there, so he got shield grabbed and died immediately. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is good. Double jump into like double jump to like read puff potentially like falling i think is always going to be super good because if you're facing forward then you get like a scoop and if you're facing backwards you get like a falling bear pressure so it's like i think if you that's like a specific read that you could do if it's like if you think she's gonna like fall from like pretty high up to the ground you could do like a double jump and then kind of scope it out um it ends up getting an upper off of it which is pretty beneficial 45 degrees so he plays around up here he's gonna turn his back uh let's see Still above, so it's threatening up air. Once he falls, starts bearing. Nice. Yeah. And nothing Puff does will beat up air from that angle. It's just un unbeatable. Turns his back. Super good. Oh, no. <laughs> this could have been really bad. But well, I guess he reacted well. Nice. And he uh, got too safe. Did he go back so far? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I think. I think that's like a decent baseline kind of for like doing Falcon or Puff matchup stuff where it's like, I think moving around the platform is obviously super good, but just like spacing out aerials for as long as possible, and then once you like see that, oh, you know, Puff like is now jumping in a way where I can, like, threaten her in a different way, then you get to, like, actually start playing neutral. Um, and, like, doing stuff that, like, is super-duper centered around, like, whether she's shielding or not is important. Because there's a lot of times where she doesn't need to shield, and you probably shouldn't be doing anything, and there's a lot of times where she does need to shield. And so you have to, like, you can, you know, start forcing the issue a bit. Um, yeah. We can watch another game pretty quick, and then we can start wrapping up. Cool. cool. Of the game real quick it's dreamland yeah yeah i know <laughs> that was the greediest thing i've ever seen oh get <laughs> fucked wow that was sick that was so sick wow oh oh my god that was a sus grab wow Oh, he had it. 
nice. I think a lot of the nares that Wizzy is doing, I think, end up being at the timing where if Puff did jump at the same time that he started doing the nair, then it's fast enough for him to like actually catch the Puff out of the air, which I think yeah. is important. You never do it in response. You do it like super duper Preemptive duper. Area. Yeah, that's like how it should work, I think. If you do it super duper preemptively, then nair ends up being a lot better of a tool. Oh, I think that upper is kind of greedy. Do you, how do you get hit by this spell? I don't think they should have. Oh, it's because he did rising up there. That's why. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how he got true punished by pound on a shield, but it's because he did rising up there. Makes sense. Nice. Why is he saying doing this? <laughs> Why are they doing that? Why? Please. Oh, God. It all worked out. Yeah, now... Oh, God. Oh, God. I like the hold shield there. Okay, that was the greediest rest of all time. I cannot believe that they went for that. Man. What's up with like me right now? This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. No. Yeah. I think Wizard of Scrambles actually haven't been that good, honestly. I feel like he's been fighting a lot more than I would expect him to. Surprised he's rolling and jumping around a lot more. Nice. Nice. I like that he waited for the pound. It's like there's nothing that he was scared of, and so he got to check if Puff was pounding or not. And I think that's really important for Puffs like this who are down to like throw out pound a bunch. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why is Tuesday resting like this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what an epic game. <laughs> what? I need comments. Wizzy Slay. I need, I need someone to talk about that. What the fuck? That's unbelievable, man. <laughs> what? I would agree. And a turn on commentary. That, that's just I, I, he, I, think, I think he went for the double stick tech and he missed it. That's just absurd, man. I, I have no thoughts. Two Saint through so bad. <laughs> that is... That's absolutely absurd. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I uh, I think outside of the way Two Saint threw, uh, we did a cool amount or a good amount of cool things. So yeah, I, think, yeah, I feel like he showed off what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think well. I think that's cool. Okay. Well, uh, that's that's all I got. Do you have any other thoughts or anything else you want to talk about? Um. I think you, you, you got it pretty good. Um I'm like racking my brain real fast, but I don't know if I if I got nothing. Okay. Well, cool. Okay. All right, appreciate you. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Later.